It's quite easy to create chrome shapes like this in Blender. All we need is a few edges and modifiers. To start we need a single vertex. You can add it like that if you enable extra objects add-on from preferences. If not, we can add any objects you want and merge all the vertices at the center. So we have this single vertex now. We can extrude it several times in edit mode to have something to work with. Add the skin modifier to get this volume or the mesh around the edges. If we extrude it, it's all straight lines and we want to bend some. So let's add subdivision modifier and place it before the skin modifier. That's what we have. Extrude a few more vertices. If you want to connect them, you can use F. You can scale up and down the radius with Ctrl A. Can be single or you can do it with multiple vertices at once. Enable proportional editing. The shortcut is O. We can adjust the influence zone with the scroll button. We already have something. Let's complete the modifier stack. Add one more subdivision. Make sure the first one have the same levels for viewport and render. On the second subdivision that's not so important. We can change the viewport if it's too heavy later, but for now I'll leave it four levels. I'll add a bit more volume on some of the places as it's too skinny now. If we open the side panel, this is where we can check the radio size and you can tweak it from here as well. Add the smooth modifier to make this effect more interesting. Move it on top of the second subdivision. Increase the factor and add a few more repeats. It looks different when changing the modes because the skin modifier is not enabled in edit mode. You can do this from here. Grow the pattern and do the shape you want by extruding and connecting more vertices. Grab this material. It's actually just a metallic with a roughness down, nothing else. If we zoom in we can see that it's not smooth. And if we try to shade out to smooth it won't work because we have to enable the smooth shading option of the skin modifier. We can go 3D as we still 2D using only the X and the Y axis. The skin modifier is not very stable and we can get some artifacts like this one, especially when we're making the pattern more complex. It can be tricky but you just have to find the right place or tweak the radio size to fix it. You can also subdivide the edges and bring the vertices closer or far away from each other. Another thing is the root of the skin modifier and I can't find it now so I will just mark this one as a root to show you. It has this red circle around it and if we delete it, it will ruin the whole mesh. We can just mark another one, but keep in mind if something like this happened, can be the root. Change the root can also help cleaning some of the artifacts, but in most cases it won't do anything. But that's how you can get very interesting shapes quickly. It's very simple and it's all procedural, so you can always adjust it. So I hope you like it and you learn something from this technique. I'll see you on the next one.